Welcome or welcome back on Cisco. In this video clip, we're going to take a look how divide how to divide rational expression containing monomials like number nine and ten, for example. So what do we have to do then? We have two x squared over three y divided by sixteen x cubed twenty over twenty seven y to the fifth. So what you have to do here is to keep the first fraction two x squared over three y, change the division in a multiplication, and flip the second one. And the problem becomes nothing else than multiplication of rational expression, which we already discussed in a previous video clip. Well, how we do this? 2 goes in 16 8 times, 3 goes in 27 9 times. So we know we have 9 over 8 as a starting point for this multiplication. And now let's take a look to variables. x squared, x cubed. 2x is here, right? x squared means 2x is cancelled 2 here, so we have one left, which is going to be down on the bottom of the fraction as a denominator. One y here, cancel one y here, and we have five, so we have four left, so we have y to the fourth power here on the top of the fraction as a numerator. So the final answer is 9y to the fourth power over 8x. Pause this video clip and try number 10. If you end up with this answer, 3 over 2a cubed b, then you did a wonderful job. Well, let's take a look to 11, and you're going to try 12. Okay, what do you notice on 11? Similar problem, however, we have negative exponents. So, here, instead of using the method you I showed before, I like to use loads of exponents for simplifying this multiplication, right? We change it in a multiplication of rational expression. But first of all, let's dilute uh, the regular fraction, regular numbers. 4 goes in 8 2 times, 3 goes in 12 4 times, so we have 4 over 2. And then look at here what I like to do. I'm looking to x to the fifth, x to the negative 3 power. This is a quotient, right? So we're going to use the quotient rule. We learn on Loads of exponents, which says 5 minus negative 3. That would be positive 8, so x to the 8. The same with the y's. We notice here negative 2 and also minus negative 3. Again, loads of exponents. Uh, quotient rule, we subtract the exponents. Negative 2 minus negative 3 is positive 1. And what do you notice? Also, that 2 goes in 4 2 times, so the final answer will be 2x to the 8th power y. Don't have to write the first part. Pause this video clip and try number 12. If you end up with this answer for number 12, then you did a wonderful job. You notice I use the same loads of exponents quotient rule. And here, by the way, whenever you have a negative exponent, I use the negative exponent rule. And you see 
uh, I move A down and the bottom of the fraction as a denominator of a positive exponent. If you enjoyed these video clips, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and see square for more math video clips. Thank you.